1217 now pretty quiet out there right now mm -hmm. earlier today this morning I stepped outside and it was a little cool but decent out. Yeah, it's not too bad. We had some sunshine for the first half of the day. Now we have clouds rolling in, but not much in the way of rainfall with those clouds. Maybe a spot shower this afternoon, but overall not that bad. Here's uh, Providence. You can see those clouds really filtering on in, and that's going to be the theme for the rest of our day. So again, mainly dry, but I'm thinking more clouds than sunshine for the rest of our Thursday. Let's take a look outside here in Newport. Similar view as well. Again, that sunshine that we saw this morning kind of fading away as the day progresses. Radar check. There is some light rain on the screen here. This is all to the west and the southwest parts of Pennsylvania, Maryland, Delaware, seeing some rainfall right now. That's going to have a tough time getting into our area. Maybe a spot shower for the rest of today, but overall thinking for the most part, we'll be looking at dry conditions as we are right now. Temperatures not too bad. 62 Providence, 67 in Westerly, 62 in Newport and 64 in New Bedford. We'll pretty much top out in the low to mid 60s for this afternoon. So my three key things again, looking at drier weather for the rest of today. Cooler temperatures though as we go into our Friday and then most of the weekend actually looks pretty dry. We have a couple shower chances in there, but overall not a you know washout that we're expecting. So here's the wide view of things. A lot of red L, so a lot of storm systems on the map, but none of them really near us. You can see where there's our exiting one from yesterday that caused some of the uh, th lightning and hail that we saw last night. We're kind of in between the two systems here, so we're looking at dry conditions across southern New England. But again, clouds and showers off to the west, and we'll see at least some impacts from these storms. So we'll see that in just a second. Let's time things out for the rest of this afternoon. Here's going through the noontime hour again today. Clouds, a little bit of sunshine this afternoon. Temperatures holding steady in the 60s, but mainly dry. No green on the screen. Maybe a couple passing showers later on tonight during the overnight hours. And as we go into Friday morning again, here's 1 a.m. Seeing a couple passing light areas of green overnight into early tomorrow. Not expecting a washout. And then as we go into that morning commute or very early morning hours on Friday, 5 a.m., you can see again, maybe a passing shower near the coastline, but overall nothing widespread expected across our region. And that continues right into Friday. Notice though, a lot of gray on the screen. So tomorrow is another mostly cloudy day across our area to end the uh, work week here. Temperatures much cooler, only in the 50s. So if you're heading out for lunch this afternoon, things looking pretty good. Temperatures in the 60s right now for the middle part of our day, partly sunny skies. But again, those clouds are increasing as we go through the rest of today for tonight primarily dry. A couple passing showers can't be ruled out during the evening hours, but notice our temperature trend dropping through the 50s back into the 40s as we go into early tomorrow morning. So not that bad overnight tonight into tomorrow. Waking up for uh, work and school tomorrow, not looking bad temperature wise either. And here's tomorrow's forecast again, only upper 50s to near 60. Lots of clouds, a passing shower possible, especially for the first half of the day. Breezier as well. Northeast winds about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Now, pollen, it's still a deal, of course, that we've been fighting with the high pollen counts lately. Today's looking at a medium category, but as we go for Friday into the weekend, notice we're back to that medium high category as we're looking at not much in the way of rainfall and dry conditions coming our way. So that pollen count will be on the medium to high side over the next few days. Seven day forecast for you. Again, look at the weekend. Mother's Day weekend, of course, not really looking at much in the way of any rainfall, maybe a couple showers for Sunday, but that storm system looks to pass to the south and west of us across the parts of the mid-Atlantic. So overall, a mainly dry weekend, just some extra clouds for Mother's Day on Sunday. And as we go into next week, temperatures in the 60s to near 70 for Tuesday. All right, we'll be happy if it stays pretty dry for Mother's yeah, Day on actually, Sunday. It's a pretty dry stretch, and yeah, right now, Mother's Day is looking pretty good. Okay, good. All right, coming up on 12 News at 4, we'll